Hey, comic book community, Lombok Slough Affair here. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Um, so this is a, in some ways a continuation video. Um, in a previous, I have two videos previously that I posted that showed um, books that I pulled out of my friend's storage unit. So he has 45 long boxes uh, that he's looking to move. He wants to um, slowly sell these off uh, and then eventually maybe um, we'll go to a convention or sell, sell them in bulk, uh, the ones that... Um, are, are maybe dollar books or five dollar books or just ones that um, we just don't have time to deal with. But um, I went through uh, more boxes. We still haven't gone through every box because we do it in, in doses. It's it's not in a local storage unit. It's about 45, 50 minutes away from both of us. Uh, and uh, we went through, we organized because it's not organized at all. Everything is mixed. DC, Marvel um, is the thrust, but they're mixed in. Sometimes they're grouped really nicely. Um, but uh, I pulled three boxes worth of stuff that I'm going to try to help him sell. So really almost anything in this video is uh, for sale. Uh, I haven't posted it yet. If you see anything you like, let me know. Um, I think a few of these are probably going to be pressed and sent to CGC because they're in great condition. Um, but by and far, most of these are, are readily available. And I'll probably do another video that is strictly a sale video that shows everything. I'm just showing three piles today. This is one pile. So I have three of them I'm going to go through kind of quickly uh, and uh, show books that are, are interesting to me. So they might not be high dollar keys, uh, but they're ones that I think are interesting. Cool covers, um, books that uh, have been selling on, on the secondary market or momentous issues, key issues. Um, so I was excited to find these in really minty condition. Uh, Batman, uh, let's see, what issue is this? 638. It's hard to remember all the issues when they're so high. Uh, the Return of Jason Todd, uh, first print and second print when he gets unmasked as the Red Hood. Um, so these are, are pristine. These are examples of ones that'll probably go to CGC, although I'm not sure. I'll have to take a deeper look. Um, so there's that. I was also excited to find this, Suicide, Suicide Squad number one. Uh, looks to be in decent condition. Uh, definitely not mint. Uh, it, it is a new stand. It's probably mid-grade or slightly higher. Uh, so that's exciting. Uh, a chunk of Deathstroke. So I pulled a couple Deathstrokes uh, that are fun. Shadow of the Bat number one. First, uh, uh, Zaz. Uh, Mr. Zaz. And uh, this book was getting a little bit of heat. Um, several months ago. Uh, Legends, number one, first Amanda Waller, Blue Beetle series, issue number one. There's a, a little bit of a run there. He had a whole bunch of these uh, tangent comics. This is just the Batman and Green Lantern one, uh, but uh, they're just different takes on the characters. Um, these are ones that I, I definitely want to look into, um, maybe even read before saying farewell. Um, I got, I think, one through seven of Batgirl, year one. So I don't know if they're in order, but they're super cool covers. These are Marcos Martin covers. I love this cover the best. I don't know if it was an ongoing series or that's seven issues. I thought it'd be six for a mini series, but it's not. Uh, Adam Hughes, uh, Gen 13 Ordinary Heroes. I don't know. I've, someone had posted that recently. Flash 141, uh, the... Uh, Black Flash. It was cool to see this one. Supergirl Adventures 21. I think this is the first Supergirl. Uh, this is part of the Superman Adventure series, I believe. So uh, iconic cover there. Here's another Black Flash uh, storyline. Might be one of the first appearances. I was looking to put together a set. Young Justice 1 and 2 uh, is here. Uh, he had a whole bunch of Young Justice in storage. Uh, I only pulled 1 and 2. Um, so my question, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Do I wait and get the rest of the Young Justice and try to bundle them, or should I just sell it off? Um, what do you all think? Uh, some freaky-looking Gen 13. Um, I don't know why I, I kept on pulling these, but these were uh, the, these are... Uh, being posted on Instagram and some other uh, sites lately, so I thought I'd pick them up first. First Gen 13. Powers Half. I don't know if this is a variant because it's embossed or if that's how it all originally came, but I need to do a little research on that. Sensational Spider-Man number zero. I think this is the first uh, Ben Riley costume. Sword. Sword of Azrael, number one. I love this. It's the back and forth cover. 
right before uh, nightfall. Just some old uh, Detective Comics, 542, and then a 572 anniversary issue, Tomb Raider half, Justice Society number one. I think this is Jesse Quick's first appearance. Some Nightfall issues, Batman, 491, 492. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Nightfall in here. I think uh, almost a full set. Uh, Death of Superboy. Uh, and actually, the store that he bought this, uh, and he ain't coming back, uh, Legion of Superheroes 38. Um, I'm not a Legion fan, so I don't know if that actually happened. Um, Batman of Earth 1 and Earth 2 team up and Brave and the Bold 200. Seems like a pretty inspirational cover. Uh, Superman Forever, number one. Pretty thick uh, hologram issue. I've always loved this. Wonder Woman 214, fl crossover with Flash. 219, follow-up of When She Killed Maxwell Lord. 223, 224, 225, 226. There's more Wonder Woman in this, uh, where it came from. Uh, Batman Superman 12. 13, the variant cover, and 19. He had the earlier ones, but I think I pulled those in my first uh, run and sold those. Uh, a full run of Green Lantern Rebirth, the Ethan Vesskyver and Jeff Johns uh, introduction of Hal Jordan once again, from Spectre to Green Lantern. This was an awesome run. I think this brought back, <laughs> undid a lot of uh, the Emerald Twilight storyline, including bringing back Sinestra. Back. Uh, Wonder Woman 153, got some Adam Hughes going on, uh, Superman Gen 13, uh, not J. Scott, or that is J. Scott, he did the cover at least, uh, Wonder Woman 154, 155, Adam Hughes covers, uh, there's a run of Batman the Cult, uh, that Bernie Wrightson and Jim Starlin storyline, I read that when I was a kid, uh, Wonder Woman 152, 151. So there's more more throughout. Um, I love this. Uh, Spectre, number one. This is when Hal Jordan became the Spectre. And then this is the series that preceded it in the 90s. Um, is that 90? Yep, 92. This is a glow-in-the-dark cover. That's, Spectre is a character that was, is interesting to me. I, I don't... I, I read a little bit of it um, back in the early 2000s. So there's a large run of Infinity Inc. And this is the... Uh, Todd McFarlane cover and or interior art. So I'm just going to kind of run through these. Uh, he did this run, I think, before... Yeah, definitely before Spider-Man. This is one of his first, uh, if not his first, DC comic run uh, before going to Marvel, um, 1987. So you can definitely tell you got early McFarlane art there. You can tell with this one for sure. Um there's a couple of iconic covers. This was sought after for a while. I don't know if this run, if anyone's looking for this run these days, but uh, I pulled all the ones that had McFarlane, um, his name on the cover. There we go. I might be missing just a few of them. But like I said, doesn't mean it's not there, it's just we haven't gotten to all the boxes. We've gotten through most of them. Actually, maybe we did get all of them. This was the iconic. This might be his, one of his first, issue 14. I've always seen this one uh, paired with his run. Here you got some uh, uh, lizard prototype before he did Torment, Solomon Grundy. And I'm willing to bet that some of you watching have never heard of these issues. Um, Infinity Inc. Batman, No Man's Land. So like Batman Forever, or Superman Forever, this Batman, No Man's Land, got a hollow foil, Alex Ross cover. Some Spawn. Spawn, 157. A hodgepodge. 165, Wonder Woman, Adam Hughes. 168. 167. 164. 166. Um, a random Black Panther issue. Black Panther 15 from 1979. He's like, maybe I just got that off of eBay in a, in a lot or got it by accident. Um, Emperor Joker, number one. 
Hellstorm, Prince of Lies. This is exciting. Harley Quinn, one and two. I couldn't find other ones, but doesn't mean they're not there. Some uh, Fantastic Four Turner goodness. So I, I, I love these, these covers. Especially this one. I have a Wizard World, um, Wizard World Philly uh, black and white variants of that. Batman Shadow of the Bat. Uh, this, I, keep, I originally thought this was her first appearance. Now I'm wondering if it is. This is issue number 83. From 1999, uh, just just for the heck of it, uh, the Ray number one, early Joe Casada, and then I don't know why I have this in the batch. Why I pulled this out above all others, um, and then New Avengers 30 and 31. Uh, this is some Ronin significance. Got some Archie super spe superhero specials, mini comics. Those were different. Um, I love this cover. Uh, that it doesn't go for anything, I think, but it's a uh, DC Comics 1 million. Justice League 1. There's like a 1 through 6 Morrison run in there. JLA. Superman. New Powers. There's a bit of Teen Titans. This is number 1. And then the homage in issue number 7, I think, with the villains. Uh, this is the um, Perez. Is it Perez? Yeah, Perez and Jurgens run. So not the new Teen Titans. It's a bunch of Hawkworld. Really excited to find this book, and we were, so, he didn't know he had this. Spectre number one. Old, old, old book. Uh, I don't even know the date. I haven't opened the cover. Uh, I'll open number two, which is right in front of me, from 1968. So uh, atypical of his collection. He did, I was surprised to even have these books. Spectre number four. Number five. These are beautiful. They're beat. They're not like beat beyond belief, but they're definitely worn. Um, I would say definitely mid grade, maybe slightly lower. Number seven. Number eight with a date stamp on there. And number nine. And number ten. Uh, he also had a couple copies of Spectre number one. Uh, and that series as well. Uh, he had a Dead Man run. I didn't realize there was a, a regular character on the back. Savage Dragon number one. First Archangel. Death of Angel. Nice run of uh, Mutant Massacre. An X-Men. Planet of the Symbiotes, part one and part two. Makes me believe the rest might be there. Had some young blood. I really just wanted to pull it for this one because people were buying this at one point. Darker image. That seems to have some interest with people. Just for fun, I thought I'd check this book out and want to read it. Ghost Rider 2099. Flash, flash number one, newsstand. That's the second Flash number one newsstand I found in a collection. Amazing Spider-Man 325, McFarlane, Justice League, uh, Keith Giffen, uh, issue number one. These are exciting. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman number one. She's got that nice wraparound cover. Newsstand, George Perez. Um, decent condition, but a lot of spine brings. Issue five, but then issue six. Um, that's a cool one. First Cheetah. Uh, Doom Patrol number one, Black Hawk number one, Manhunter number one. Some of these have runs behind them, but these are the ones I pulled. Uh, the Young All Stars number one, Green Lantern Corps number two hundred one. I think this is the first Kilowog. Batman Spawn, some good nineties, and Batman. Dracula Red Rain, the first. Dracula Batman. Uh, and this looks like it's a, a first print in my mind. I'd have to double check. So those are the box. Th those are what I pulled from the boxes. I have three boxes in my house. This is an overflow to some degree. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think. Are, are, are some of these hidden gems? Uh, are any of these series hidden gems? Because if I didn't show the full run, I might have some of the other ones behind it. I uh, would love to know your feedback. Um, if you're interested in any of these, send me an email, uh, longboxloveaffair at gmail.com. Uh, but I'll probably do a, a, a more full um, 
sale video later um, uh, to save me from posting things on eBay because I'd rather not. But uh, if, if people are interested and want to um, figure out a way to make a deal, I'm happy to, to do that. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this haul. It's pretty much a very heavy DC haul, uh, but uh, happy to show um, uh, all the books that my friend has and that I'm helping him with. So take care. Have a good holiday. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.